What is up, YouTube? Four Leaf Cards here. Th thanks for, so much for clicking. I really appreciate it. And uh, just saw a video come out of uh, Scotty over at Aranya Boys. And uh, um, just completed a rainbow. So congratulations, Scotty. Uh, so happy for you, man. You've been really hitting those Boba Shets hard. And uh, that thing looks awesome up on that board. Uh, that was a great idea. Uh, really cool to see him all. So congratulations to Scotty. So Scott's having a uh, a uh, contest. Uh, and he wants a video response. And I could not pass up doing it. Um, just got to do it for my boy. So um, I've got a couple of things going on with rainbows. Um, and I don't know. I'm missing a couple. So like for example this Carl, Carl Crawford. Uh, this is a chrome black numbered out of 100. I got about 10 of these, but I must have pulled them out for somebody else's rainbow video. It must be in my two-file box. I, uh, when I pull things out, they go back in a box, a four-row box. So anything in a four-row box needs to get sorted and put back in its place. And I think I'm missing, because I also have, um, I think it's Carl Everett. It's the one that's like this, and the, the catcher's coming from behind. Looks like he's chewing on his shoulder. I got about, I don't know, eight or ten of those, too. So um, Anyway. So I'm missing some, so I had to get some other ones. And uh, this is this one here is a. Uh, I, if you know my channel, you might not all know it, but uh, I collect funny cards, and uh, like frozen balls and jumping in the air, plays at the plate. You know, fun. You know, well, this Carl Crawford. You know, plowing over the catcher. You know, I was I I thought I had more of this one too. Plays at the plate. Look at the catcher. Saw like. Just got hammered. Uh, I do a lot of these too. I was thinking I might have had some more of those, but uh, water dumps, bubble gum, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, so I got this uh, this BJ Upton rainbow going. So that's the uh, that's the regular one. That is, if I can get it to go, I can't really. That's the refractor version. Oh, you can kind of see it there. I have this. That is a refractor, but I think they call it an X-fractor. Got it in the orange refractor and purple refractor. So, a bunch of those. That one kind of in the air play and a frozen ball. So, that. And then, not to be just out done. Uh, I get this Will Middlebrooks one where he's making a leaping play. And you got the umpire in the back. I also collect cards with the umpire in the picture. Um, but, man, he is just flat out. So that's the regular white one. Here's the gold. Here's the, I think this is a Target red. Here's the Walmart blue. Here is the green and actually the same picture in tops chrome so there's probably a couple more to go chase on that so there's some rainbows i'm working on for my funny card collection um i don't have any serious like pc player rainbows going that i really know of um yeah, no. But anyway, I got funny card rainbows, a couple of them going. So that's uh, that's that. Maybe I got to get serious about finding a a true player PC rainbow. I don't know. And then Scott wanted us, us to shout out a channel that was inspiring to us. <coughs> and he said that we could Bob Lewis it and uh, just list a bunch. And that's what's going to happen because there's a lot of things. I you know I think when you get the opportunity to talk about your your story. Uh, you know, you should tell as much of the story as possible because that's the best part of it, I think. So, um, I've got a list here. Well, you're going to see a couple top ones here. But baseball card junkies. When I first got into YouTube and you search, like, baseball cards, you get the you get the big breaker guys. You get the jabs. You get the, you know, the investor type people. And I stumbled upon... Uh, baseball card junkies. It's kind of like my first. Like it was just it was Nate and Eric sitting on a couch in a garage or whatever. You know, it's like welcome back to baseball card collecting. You know, one hundred and one or whatever. And it was like, yeah, man, two dudes hanging out, 
talking about cards, you know, not trying to make money, not trying to, you know, open 5,000 cases of stuff, just, hey man, we enjoy collecting cards, and that was kind of like, all right, I think I, I think there's some people that I could actually, you know, relate to, right, and uh, Nate, I mean, Eric's kind of taking a break, but Nate continues to go at it. And man, if you're not inspired by his Barry Bonds collection, I don't know. I don't know what would inspire you. Like, that's pretty cool. Um, and so uh, totally inspired there. That was kind of my first uh, YouTube inspirational uh, thing to say, yeah, I think this is a cool community. Uh, then I've got uh, Eric over at those back pages. I mean, he constantly just sharing knowledge just the thought of just sharing and talking about stuff and being open and and you know sometimes there's pressure to say oh i've got to have a really expensive card or like the bet like a 10 you know nines are fine right eights are great eights are great you know and eric uh i feel feel like kind of just took the pressure off you know you don't have to collect you collect what you like and if you if you have knowledge, then share it around. We're all in it together. We're just loving cards and and having a community. So, uh, artistically, uh, Scott over at Reindeer Studios really got me back into drawing, and I need to draw more. Um, uh, among other things, I consider him a, a great friend. Um, obviously, we had a great adventure to the national last year. Um, just super fun. Uh, knowing Scott, working with Scott, uh, but he really inspired me to get back into into drawing. Uh, just watching him do so much of it, uh, between just all his little doodles and uh, the TTMs and and the uh, eleven eight degrees of separation. You know, he's drawing all the time, drawing or or arting. Um, sorry, I got a little stuffy nose here. Hopefully, I'm not getting something. But anyway. Uh, uh, Scott really inspired me to do some uh, some more drawing, so thank you to Scott Pepino. Um, Pepino is is inspiring in the way that he just hits the hits the record button and just says, "Whatever, man, I'm gonna be silly. Some of you're gonna like it, some of you aren't, but we're gonna have fun with it." And again, I think that takes the pressure off of it. <clears throat> I'm definitely not an editor. I edit a little bit certain things. Mostly I'm trying to edit something out that Little Leaf has said that he's not supposed to say. Um, you know, or just putting two things together. Um, but Pepino is inspiring. And that is just, let, let loose, man. Just show us what you got. Do whatever you want to do. If you want to be silly, be silly. And uh, I appreciate that. I think we all laugh a lot, but we kind of lose track that Pepino probably is fairly inspiring to a lot of us to just take the edge off and not be so serious, you know, have fun with it. It's a hobby. Uh, Mike over at Baseball Collector uh, is inspiring in a way, to me at least, that you have somebody that's been collecting all along, thinks about the hobby. Um, I mean, I, he's got a great Perez Steel collection, so that's, and I'm into that. So, um uh, Mike's probably, I don't know, if maybe 10 years ahead of me in life. And so Mike inspires me. You know, his collection is something that I admire. And uh, and, and there's other collections that I admired well as well. Um, but uh, Mike's just, you know, putting out a lot of content and always picking up things that, that I wish I had in my collection. And so um, Mike probably inspires me to think about the future a little bit more, you know, where, where will I be in 10 years from now in my collecting journey? And, uh, you know, Mike provides, I think a fairly interesting spot to look at, uh, Bob Lewis, <coughs> excuse me. I know we referenced Bob Lewis here, but, um, Bob Lewis just seems like the easiest dude to just talk to laid back. And, uh, he was one of the, one of the other first channels that I started watching. Bob was actually the first guy that I gave my phone number to. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, we, we talked the first time for like an hour and it was just, uh, just like we'd known each other forever. So Bob, I don't see you putting out, you put some content, but I think Bob's pretty busy these days and I haven't been text. I should probably send him a text. Um, but, uh, you know, I miss you, Bob. 
Uh, we we, we want to see some more stuff, man. We love your stuff. Just uh, get on there and hanging out with your dad. Like I love watching Bob open stuff with his dad, and I ho I hope that happens uh, for Little Leaf and I, or maybe one of the twenties. But uh, I've been putting away wax specifically for that uh, that event. And if it doesn't happen, then I'm gonna have just a lot of unopened wax uh, twenty years from now. But anyway, and uh, finally, Scotty. I mean, I know it's your video, but the the fun that you have, the silliness that you do, somewhat like Pepino, uh, but you're 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 giving your your you know all the stuff that you do and keeping all the people together, that is inspiring as well, man. So appreciate you being kind of a hub of uh, of people and uh, and 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 all that uh, the card crew stuff, uh, you know, all the things that you do to just. Put it out there and be positive and uh you know a great collection and everything it's it's inspiring to see you do what you do and uh and continue to collect uh all the stuff that you do so there's a bunch of them some there's more there's probably more i have stories about everybody so please don't be offended if i left you out the list but uh, you know these were some of the major milestones as i uh started my youtube and getting back into the hobby uh journey so that's a good list and a couple rainbows for you to look at so scotty congratulations on that rainbow um hopefully i get to see it at some point uh again here man it's been too long again since we met or seen each other i guess and i appreciate you for uh for you guys that are listening for spending uh 11 minutes or like five and a half minutes if you get it on 2x speed um, and that's all I got. So if you guys are open to anything, best of luck to you. Don't forget to collect to connect. It's the people in the hobby that are the best part. And have an awesome day.